Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You vs Them. Virgo, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Virgo, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right, Virgo newcomers, I'm uh, setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Virgo, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody sitting in their power very secure, very safe, or maybe that's how the, their person is looking at them. Uh, I do sense from one person, they kind of feel a bit depleted in love at the moment. They feel their love got taken for granted, passing judgment on this connection. It was too imbalanced. I'm giving up on this now. They feel their person ghosted them, lied to them, cheated on them. It's time for me to see the truth and cut this person out of my life. The other person has a lot of passion even now. They want to take passionate action towards the other person because they are, they are missing the love. They are missing, they are feeling a void in their heart where love is concerned. But they don't have the courage maybe to ask for it because they feel the other person is not talking to them or maybe doesn't want anything with them or something. I don't know. I'm going to of course clarify these cards so I get to know deeper what this is, what's going on. But first I'm going to take three cards from the universe to find out what's the deeper meaning to whatever you guys are going through. So my spirit guides tell me what's why is Virgo going through this whatever they're going through? What's the deeper meaning? For these two to be experiencing these uh, energies one by one please one okay yeah unrequited mm -hmm. one more please okay okay so Virgo the first card here is you guys have a past life connect you've known this connection before or maybe you've known a connection like this before it could be triggering some memories it's like if you've um, gone to a restaurant and had a bad meal and then you go to another restaurant and you expect the same dish to be as bad or something because I have memories and past life. So either you've known this connection in a past life or you've known another connection which very much brings out the memories. Remembering the past, uh, you know, yeah unrequited love you may not be on the same page right now okay so let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'll start clarifying these cards so virgo and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be virgo and their person if they could say something to each other now spirit what would that be okay Let's take a few more from another deck, Virgo. Virgo and their person, spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right. And just a few more, Virgo, from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading. Virgo and their person, spirit. Virgo and their person. All right, good to go, Virgo. Let's start the reading. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, Virgo, <clears throat> my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, if I could turn back time, I would. And I would do it all different. I hope you allow me to step up and turn this around. I wish I could have been emotionally available and let you in. Every thought is you. You occupy my mind. I can't escape you even if I tried. 
I made so many bad mistakes. I hope we can have a do-over. Wishing you the best, even if it's with someone else. I tend to look at your social media pages, waiting on signs to connect with you. When you left me, I felt it was because you did not think I was good enough. I'm afraid if I come back into your life that I'll hurt you again. I hope you'll find forgiveness in your heart for me. I have to improve myself and my life to feel worthy of you. I have so much to say to you. Your sexy body has me drooling. Don't be so insecure. I have inner childhood wounds. I want to prove my love to you through actions. I want to regain your trust. All right, so these were some of your messages, Virgo. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. But first, of course, an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Virgo gang with today. A blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Here it is. Virgo. The card I have here for you is play music. Take a chill pill, Virgo. Maybe your person is trying to send you messages through lyrics of songs, so pay attention. Or maybe the angels are directing you through electronic energy. I strongly believe in, I, I mean, I, that's what I do sometimes when I have a problem. I'll just play random music and request my angels to send me a message. And the first three songs, usually I have my answer. Right? So play music. All right, so Spirit, tell me what's going on in this connection. Uh, newcomers, uh, as you've noticed, I've got these two sides. So if this is your reading, one side would be you, the other would be the person who's affecting your energy. Yes, this could be a love interest, a spouse, an ex, could even be a relative, could be a business partner, best friend, sibling. Well, uh, you'll figure it out, right? And remember, I don't know which side you're on. You could be person A or person B. I don't want to know because I want to be fair to both. And uh, it, they are not gender based. These are just two souls interacting with each other. Uh, about how they truly feel about each other and what's the most likely action they want to take. And if this is your reading, you'll figure it out. Right now I'm only going to focus on one side which is person A for me. After I'm done with person A, we'll be moved to the other side. Okay. So person A, tell me in your feelings, in your emotions, you have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So are you feeling you got taken for granted or you've lost the love? Yeah, person A says, I feel they, they never reciprocated my love. Maybe maybe they felt, person A felt, felt that they were made to feel like they were just an option or they were left waiting, waiting for the other person to choose them or something like that. Uh, maybe they found out that the other person was not single or they had another option or something. Uh, yeah, person A is kind of turning their back on this connection uh, because they felt that the other person was emotionally playing manipulative games with them or just uh, blowing hot and cold or something like that. So judgment, what's the judgment card? Yeah, person, B, uh, person A says, uh, I am passing judgment. Yes, I'm passing judgment to uh, this connection because they feel that their person comes in with immature communication. They come in when they want to. They leave when they want to. I mean, there is a lot of unknown, maybe secrecy involved. Uh, somewhere person A is passing judgment on the other person to say they're very stubborn, they're very egoistic. They, they just want what they want, when they want it, and that's it. You know, uh, I, I can't deal with this anxiety and stress and sleepless nights and wondering what they truly want. Do, 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 do they care? Don't they, don't they care? Um, I think person A is 
like I said, passing judgment on the other person, calling them a bit controlling, narcissistic. It's like it's always going to be their way or the highway. Like, you know, uh, they always make me feel I'm not good enough for them. I think there was a card which said that as well. When you left, I started to feel I was not good enough for you. So, yeah, that's how I think person A was feeling. That why, why am I not lovable? Why, why would you not reciprocate my love? Why would you not choose me? So, it made person a very angry it, it so that's the reason i think they're saying no they're not stepping up they're not doing right by me tell me why why do you feel this way person a tell me person a says because this was an imbalanced connection i was the only one trying i was the only one uh, trying i was waiting i was uh, discontent they never gave me any emotional offer i was feeling you know that things are unfair and finally I got exhausted and I got tired and I said okay I'm going to give up on this connection now I'm I can't keep doing this nine of wands in reverse yeah again <laughs> same thing passing judgment passing judgment calling the other person very controlling somebody who pretends to be somebody they are not but still wanting to have the upper hand uh, person A says no basically they, do, they don't have the guts right they are they are weak and I don't want to deal with the person who makes me feel I'm not good enough, abandons me, leaves me out in the cold, when I'm the one who's been trying and make, to make this work all along. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I've given up on this connection. So person A basically feels that person B didn't acknowledge them or abandoned them or made them feel that the lack feeling that you shouldn't have in a, in a connection, right? So... Person A, tell me, how do you see the connection now and how do you feel about person B? Person A says, um, they lie. they're a liar. <laughs> they're a liar, they're a cheat, they're a ghoster, they, they are just all that and more and I am cutting this person out. Yes, this person it was a soulmate maybe, but they are not that kind of soulmate who made me feel nurtured or, you know, respected or... Do, do I see them in my future? No, I don't. Um, they are just not willing to step up and take responsibility. Maybe we can just be friends or something. But other, other than that, I have clarity of mind that I need to move on towards finding my own peace and happiness because I don't want to deal with a liar or a cheat or somebody who keeps ghosting me time and time again, just wants to, you know, maybe treat me like a friend or friends with benefits or makes me want to compete for their attention no I'm not going to do all that I'm going to take a leap of faith in a brand new direction Omkara Taro because I know what I bring to the table now I just feel I just wasted a lot of time and energy effort on this person and nothing really flourished here so what action person A will finally take I will open later Virgo Let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So person B, king of wands in your feelings. What's the king of wands? King of wands. You, they know what they did. Person B knows exactly what they did. They know they were selfish. King of wands clarified by the king of wands in reverse. So they want to rectify their image, it seems, because they are recognizing, oh my God, I, I killed this connection completely because, yes, I was egoistic, I was prideful, I was only looking out to my, for myself. And now they want to actually come forward because now they have realized that they do have emotions. And now to get anything back from more from person A and to be able to get any kind of love from them they would probably have to come forward with some kind of an apology or something they do want to take action this person has a lot of passion for person a they tell me th about th yeah and they are kind of feeling dropped i think they are the ones who are feeling dropped now they are the ones who are feeling left out in the cold they are the ones who are now in hermit mode because they are sensing that person a has taken back their power taken back their power, looking really happy in their own life, making all their own dreams and wishes come true and, and it's actually disappointing them. It's disappointing them. So they want to come forward and start from scratch. Okay, you know what? Let me pursue you again. Okay, so tell me why do you feel this way person B? Person B says because I miss the love that they gave. I feel a void in my heart now. 
no, king of cups in reverse they want to make things right but they are scared they are so scared now to come forward and say or do anything because somewhere they feel that they will not be trusted they've been cut out of person A's life they, they're not going to trust me again they probably hate me now they must be angry with me this person is actually feeling really scared they don't have the courage right they are seeing person A as exactly how person A sees themselves as the queen of wands somebody who's very financially stable who takes good care of themselves uh, has enough for themselves doesn't need to ask for anything uh, maybe moving on to a brand new beginning they could be seeing that maybe now person a has a lot of suitors maybe fighting for their attention and now they're feeling oh my god why did i do what i did why did i delay things for so long there's regret there's shame there's guilt there's a lack of courage as well so tell me person b how do you see the connection now how do you see person a and how do you feel about this connection page of wands in reverse what's the page of wands in reverse they're very burdened very very burdened because either they feel that person A is not messaging them anymore or they don't know now how to message them or ask for forgiveness or express their emotions in some way they feel they've lost out high pre uh, hydrofont in reverse yeah maybe they they are disappointed because somewhere they feel they lost, lost out on a long-term stable connection or that person A will not see them that way. One more, Hierophant in reverse. They yeah, are devastated. They are devastated that they lost out. They lost out. Somewhere they feel that person A has emotionally walked away from them, left them behind, moved on, and uh, but they are still watching they are still watching maybe they were unable to offer commitment or they couldn't make up their mind on time now they are sitting here just watching person a maybe walk away from them but they've still got their eyes they're trapped in their mind okay so let's see what actions you guys will take then i'm going to take another deck for this one and while i shuffle this deck may i now request you virgo if you could just tap the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated to do more virgo readings for you and uh, newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in okay person a back to you what's your action towards person a or otherwise the moon what's the moon card What's the moon card, person A? How is that in action? Two of swords. I think person A has gone into a bit of a protective mode for themselves. If they feel that uh, person B just kept maybe them a secret or kept them in the dark or was keeping secrets from them was maybe not making up their mind or treating them like an option or not making a decision. So person A says, you know what, I, I'm, I'll make the decision for you. I'll make the decision for, for you. I think person A's healed themselves or they, uh, they are healing themselves and they're actually quite focused on themselves. It's like I know my value, I know my worth, I know what I bring to the table. Yes, I'm sad this didn't work out, but you know what? I have other things on my mind other than you. So person A says, I, I'm looking for somebody to meet me at where I'm at and not make me feel I'm not good enough. Okay, so person B, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Six of swords in reverse. Okay, why the six of swords in reverse? You feel things are still in troubled waters for you. So are you going to take any action to rectify that? Six of swords in reverse. Oh, they are scared. Person A has already moved on to new love. Yep, they are spying. 
<laughs> they feel person A has lots and lots of options now. They don't need me anymore. I'm sure they're out there having a good time. They are probably talking to their multiple suitors now. I mean, this is like, I'm sure they have so many people now that they don't want me back anymore. Um, they're not doing anything. Person B is kind of just there. They're just patiently spying. They are spying, yes. They are spying. They, are, they will continue to watch and worry. That's it. They are scared. They are scared to come forward because somewhere they feel it's already too late or they took too much time. Okay. So, that's what I have for you. Till next time then, Virgo. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.